Often we get questions about our home and what it's like to have a family of six living in China with so many families with one or two children now. So how do we accommodate a family of six with four children and the, and the homeschooling and all of that that goes on? We'd like to share our home with you this week. Come on, we'll give you a tour. Welcome to our home. We invite you to come on in. Come on in. As soon as you enter a home in China, you are offered a pair of slippers. So today I'm going to stick on my slippers and we offer you your own pair as well. So get comfy and cozy in your slippers. And we immediately when we come in, we go straight into our living area. This is our living space where we do most of our kind of hanging out and daily life. And um, here we are. We've got a a couch. I'd like to tell you a couple of the deals that we've gotten to as we've gone along. This is one of my favorite pieces of furniture. If you know me at all, you know I'm a furniture geek. I love it. I think it's fun to collect stuff and so I watch for deals online. So this is an ancient tea pouring ceremony on this piece of furniture and I love it. And we're just gonna hang out here, um, do life here, kind of generally hang out in our living room. It's kind of a fun place. From our living room we go on through to our dining space. Now often, um, because this table is so huge, and we love to have people over so we keep a bigger table, um, but we leave it pushed in against the storage area there. The table is set up against these doors. This is the only built-in storage in this entire house. So underneath this area here is something that's built in for storing whatever we need. We have oh, I gotta show you this. Okay, I was um, walking through someone's house, looking at her furniture, and she said, oh, I do have one piece of furniture, but it's really kind of in, it's older, it's not in the best shape, and I said, well, what are you charging for it? And she said, oh, about 500 kwai, which 500 kwai tra translates into 70 US dollars. And so I said, sold. So here's my exciting part of the story. I was, a couple weeks later, I was walking through an, an ancient Chinese furniture mart and they were $3,000 a piece. I got this whole thing for $70. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> okay, now we go through to our kitchen. And in our kitchen we've got, we've had to add some extra storage because I was telling you there's very little storage in this house. Even this kitchen is something that we had to put in ourselves. And so we went through and kind of just chose some basic cabinetry. You'll notice there is no stove. We do have a plug-in eye that it's just a one eye outlet. We plug that in, put it on the counter here, and when we're not using it, it's often we use this for preparation for food, washing dishes, etc. So here, water, uh, water, hot water heater is essential here in China because you can't drink the tap water. So we, if we run out of water in the in the tongs, the big, you know, the water coolers. Each home has one of these, but if you run out of it, you can boil water and drink it that way. It's potable that way. And then we have added uh, for extra space, they don't often use ovens. Ovens are more Western. And so we use an oven. We also have a microwave, griddle, and then we've added in some of our own storage here. And we did get an American size fridge, which I'm super, super pumped about. Here we have our homeschool room. A lot of our daily activities go on through this room. Here we brought back a lot of these books. Pretty well supplied for homeschooling. All sorts of supplies. We even do music. We have a table in here set up for our kiddos. And our hamster Chip, part of the family. Chip stays in here. This room also, just for you, is set up with a bed. So whenever you do come visit, because we would love for you to come visit us, you have a place to stay. Our home is your home. You are always welcome here. Another challenge of having a family of six overseas is laundry. So in China, commonly people have a washer, but not a dryer. It's more expensive to have a dryer. And in climates like this where it's drier, it's easy just to put it out for a day or so. And usually it will dry on its own. We ended up opting for a dryer since we have such a large family and I mean, that's 12 socks a day. So this is actually in kind of a wash powder room area. Fancy, right? And then as you come through here, this is pretty tight. Here's my dryer, washer dryer stacked on top of each other. We have changed another squatty potty into a Western toilet. So this is just a pretty tight space. But it does, it's really convenient for us to have our washer dryer right here on our main level, a powder space, a washroom, and that is our first floor. We do a lot of living in this space, and we invite you to do the living with us.
Okay, next up on our tour, we wanted to let the boys show off their own bedroom. You guys want to show off your bedroom? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Okay, let's go up and see it. Show us where it is. You want to show it to us? Show me where to go. In here? Okay. All right, where's your bed, Carrick? I'm doing this dance. I can see that. Can you show me okay. your bed? Oh, yeah. Go up to it. Show me. Cam, where's your bed? I'm doing the booty scooty. Yep, and who's on the top bunk up here? Say hi. Where's your bed, Chi-Chi? We have a guest bedroom. We've not quite set it up. We've been fairly busy since we came back about a month ago, and so we're kind of getting our house set along the way. I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna be embarrassed, I know, by this, but um, here it is. It's, the, it's that room that catches everything, so eventually this will be the bed where you stay when you come visit us, yeah. And then we still have some boxes and stuff left to unpack, but until then, I'm embarrassed. It's kind of embarrassing to have this room like this. I'm so sorry. Okay, here we are in my middle hallway upstairs where we kind of just have some stuff, but I wanted to show off a couple of the things that I love that remind me of home and kind of help us on our days where it's a little bit harder. So there's my one of my favorite restaurants in the world. I love this place. Give a thumbs up if you like it. Leave a little comment. My pumpkin my mother-in-law made candle my mom bought me and our Shanghai poster we were there for five years and so Chris ended up giving me a sweet poster really sweet place to be so a lot of love right here in the hallway I got my little sidekick with me she goes with me everywhere I go say hi can you wave and say hi wave and say hi can you give a hug can you give a big hug oh thank you Okay, here we are in our master bedroom in China, and I told you that storage can be sometimes a challenge here. And so here we have we have not built-ins. These are just um, shelves that we put in here ourselves. And so this is there's no closet built into this room. And I'll kind of pan around. We've purchased our own furniture because it's cheaper to rent an apartment. A lot of them come uh, fully furnished. We prefer to have our own. They are a little bit cheaper, and these are our own items. Uh, and then moving around here. I found this in the trash. Let me show, I gotta show you this. This is crazy. I should probably shouldn't say that. Should I? I found this cool ladder. Um, I think that the workers were working and using it and kind of piece it together to build and paint. And I found it and I was like, I'm gonna put some stuff on that. I think it's beautiful. And then we have a cool window seat that we can sit in and hang out and read peace and read in there and do our own thing. Um, in there very much because I have four kids and often life is you know changing diapers and doing homeschool but I do have a lovely space there our bedroom is, is a place that we come and sit and enjoy ourselves these are a gift from a friend now I'd like to show you our master bath now bathrooms are a little different here let me show you most bathrooms in China are set up a little different uh, normally you would have a toilet uh, that's in the floor that kind of flushes and you squat down to it we call them squatties and, and then we've gone through and put in uh, toilets western toilets in each of our bathrooms because that's more what we're used to and then here the shower would be just running into the bathroom kind of normally and then it would drain into that uh, whole area since we've plugged it with a toilet they do have the shower still we did put in a little curtain here just because I just like it that way and then on the floor they did add an extra drain so it drains over here there is no shower to step into so we use a squeegee to clean the floor off each time just to keep it drier and so that's kind of the bathroom i really like it i, I really love having heat lamps everywhere we go especially since we don't have um, heat, central heating and cooling in this house that's really nice to have especially if we'll be in the winter time it'll be really nice to have heat lamps so i'm thankful for that Okay, our guest bathroom is also the toilet, the shower, toilet, mi bathroom mixture combination. And here we added in a western toilet and then the shower from the wall just would drain directly onto the floor. Hey, thanks for sticking with us and coming on the tour of our home. We encourage you to click here if you'd like to see our next video and here 
to subscribe. Thanks for all those that have subscribed and we are just thrilled that you're on this journey with us. Say bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye? <laughs>